a pain as Gerald gets the steal. We're on the break. Kicks it up to Butler. Step back midi. He pulls it and it's good. The Heat immediately with two scores. Hey, Jalen Ramsey on the sideline. What the hell? Oh, Butler with the steal. Capitalize on this. That's already two steals in the first quarter for this Heat team. I'm going to throw up the lob to Adebayo. And he dunks on Giannis. Bam, Adebayo. Oh, he put Giannis on a poster there. Hold on. Look how high Giannis just jumped there. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold the hell on here. He is a above. He is almost at the top of the backboard, 2K. That is like a four and a half foot vertical. All just... <laughs> 2K, there's no way this is real. Look where he jumped from and where he ended up. Oh my God. As you can see in the top right, we have... I believe that is the third greatest record in NBA history. The only... Not the only, the third team in NBA history to get 70 wins. We went 70 and 12 to end the regular season. How do we get rewarded? By facing the Bucks in round one rematch of last season. This time, the tables are turned. The Heat are the one seed and the Bucks are the eighth seed. All right, so I guess when you get to the playoffs, that you just can't see any of your stats from the regular season. But Gerald Johnson in the regular season ended up averaging 33 and a half points, four and a half rebounds, and 16 assists on 62% from the field. 33 we'll round up 34 percent from the three-point line and 80 percent from the free throw line tower hero averaged 14 butler averaged 19 Caleb averaged 10 on unbelievable efficiency uh bam averaged 18 nine and a half and kevin love averaged seven and seven so going up against the bucks that team uh should be about the same without um Oh, okay. Drew Holiday's dream left hip. Hopefully, he won't be playing because I just realized that's going to be a miserable matchup having Drew Holiday guard me. Grayson Allen, Chris Milton. Yeah, so it's exactly the same team from last season that this Heat team beat. So, I don't think we should have an issue, but Giannis um, is a pain in the ass. The playoffs have arrived, and a young duo looks to make a new splash. The Miami Heat enter the postseason with the best record in the conference. But now, the stakes are higher. Will their dominance be tested as they go up against the Bucks? Round one, game one, the NBA playoffs coming up next. Here we are in the Kaseya Center. Bucks Heat rematch of last year's first round. One seed, eight seed, but the tables are turned. The Miami Heat with the record of 70 and 12 are the one seed and the Milwaukee Bucks with the record of 38 and 44 are the eight seed. This should be an interesting one. I move Kevin Love to the center, no Brook Lopez starting, and I move Bam to the power forward so he can have the Giannis matchup. Let's get him going. We're gonna call for a screen, Bam at a bio. Bobby Portis is guarding him. They don't have Giannis guarding him, so we're gonna throw a lob to Bam to start off the game at a bio. Who averaged 18 in the regular season getting it started and holiday is playing through his injury so i don't know how that's gonna affect him on defense but he should be a pain as gerald gets the steal we're on the break kicks it up to butler step back midi he pulls it and it's good the heat immediately with two scores and hey, jalen ramsey on the sideline what the hell Giannis gets the screen he's gonna pull up for the midi and it's off Johnson with the rebound. Giannis feeling brave there. Let's we'll see if Jimmy can cook this team once again. Uh, bad screen there, though, from Butler. We're going to have to. Oh, and Holiday gets the steal. Dribbling a bit too much there. Holiday, mid-range shot. It's good. He's got the first four points for the Bucks. Led the league in steals with two. Injured and already has a steal and all four points for the Milwaukee Bucks here. Uh, very, very interesting. He's probably going to be their primary... Um, scorer and jimmy butler just right over him he's he's gonna be their primary scorer next to Giannis because um i'm an awful defender so they're probably gonna look for him more or he's probably gonna look to iso on me a lot more i don't see him going to middle tent much as they go to him immediately for three he's gonna miss oh he drills it interesting i mean butler's guarding him so i don't see them going to him a lot this um this series or this game and i'm gonna go right at middle 10 bad release Oh, Butler with the steal. 
Jimmy Butler getting the steal. Kevin Love. He's not. Oh, he nearly ran out of bounds there. Capitalize on this. That's already two steals in the first quarter for this Heat team. I'm going to throw up the lob to Adebayo. And he dunks on Giannis. Bam, Adebayo. Oh, he put Giannis on a poster there. Still have yet to score here. And oh, that there we go. Breaking Holiday's ankles, going to the bucket. Finally get, uh, there's Jalen Ramsey again. Finally get a score on the board. Look at that first quarter stat line so far for Johnson. 7.7, 7, it says five rebounds. And they need a timeout. Brother, if I had another maybe two to five minutes, there's a chance I can get a double-double. Possibly, very unlikely, a triple-double in the first quarter. All right, subbed out to start off second quarter like usual. Butler's already got 10. We're up by 10. Butler's got 14. Adebayo's got 6. I'm struggling offensively, which is what I expected. I'm 3 for 9, 10 points. Um, but 8 assists, 6 rebounds. I'm doing everything else and a steal on top of it. Let's see. Okay, they kicked it to Giannis in the corner. Up by 10. Grayson Allen gets an open shot. It's off. We get the rebound. I, you know, that was a Kevin Love type pass, and he just didn't take it. I'm going straight to the rack. And I get met at the rim. I thought I could draw a foul there. Three of ten from the field for Johnson. This Bucks team, they're amazing defensively, obviously. But, my God, I cannot get anything to go. Giannis, he gets fouled on the three. Challenge it. Challenge. Actually, I probably shouldn't have challenged it because it's Giannis going to the free throw line. Let's see here. Is this a foul? He jumped super late. Yeah, he fouled. Yeah, he fouled the hell out of him. Oh my God, Bam! Why even contest that? And the challenge was it successful? I don't think it was. Let's see. Overturn. Okay, the foul. The no foul. The challenge is successful. We got a jump ball here at center court. Bam! You gotta win this. And we don't win it. So that was all. I want to say it was for nothing. Saved us some points possibly, but. You got to win that jump ball. Drew Holiday only got three seconds left on the shot clock. Two. Ooh, he's just going to launch it. He hit. Oh, my God. Hold on. Look how high Giannis just jumped there. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold the hell on here. He is a above. He's almost at the top of the backboard. 2K. That is like a four and a half foot vertical. All just, like, 2K, there's no way this is real. Look where he jumped from and where he ended up. Oh, my God. The Bucks are going to hold for the last shot here. Up by nine in this first half. They ran a play for Drew Holiday. They're going to end up getting Middleton for three. It's off. That's my seventh rebound as we go to halftime up by nine. 14 points. I think it's 12 assists. 12 assists and seven rebounds for Johnson. At the half. First career triple-double in the playoffs? It, it might look like it. Give me that. Give me it this time. Give me it this time. And, of course, Drew Holiday catches up. Of course, Drew Holiday catches up. Makes sense, 2K, right? Makes so much sense. Bam. Nowhere to be found. Okay. The bleed has ballooned to 20. And the Bucks are unable to score right now. Where's Jimmy? Find Jimmy. Find Jimmy. He's tired. But find Jimmy. He is just cooking them right now. Let's see if we can just abuse this takeover. Jimmy Butler. Why is that? He still catches it. Jimmy, do not shoot that, Jimmy. Right there. Tyler, you're wide open. And he drills it. 23-point heat lead. I believe Jimmy has 9 assists or possibly 10. He is just cooking this Bucks team. He ended up getting that rebound. That I don't know if it counts as a rebound. But he ended up catching that. I get my ninth rebound. Give it to Jimmy. Jimmy, give it right back. I'm going right at Crowder. And it's good. 27 from Johnson. He has exploded in this third quarter. The Heat have extended the lead to 25. The Bucks have had no answer in this quarter. Chris Middleton, Brooke Lopez left open. It's good. We're going to hold for the final shot. And you already know who's getting the final shot. It's Jimmy freaking Butler. Jimmy freaking Butler. Seven seconds left. Oh, or maybe it's Gerald Johnson. 29 points. Extends the lead back to 21. 2.7 left on the clock. Chris Middleton. He's going to take it. And obviously not going to go in. Up by 21. Let's see if we can maintain this lead in the fourth. All right. 
getting subbed out to start the fourth quarter. Butler's still in. He's got 27. Hero's got 11. And we're up by 21. Hero with 13. Butler with 30. We're about to have two teammates with 30 plus points. Unbelievable. All right. I'm not going to probably talk for the rest of this game unless I get this triple double. Right here. There it is. Triple double for Johnson. Let's see if I can add 20 assists to it. Bam. Come here. Come here, Bam. Let's see if we can get this 20th assist. They've been playing great defense. Yeah, see, they're leaving. When it comes to the passes, they're just leaving the lane open for me to score. As Middleton misses again, we get the rebound. What? I don't know what happened. But yeah, on the pick and rolls, they're leaving the lane for me to score. And it's just causing me to not be able to get this assist, which is kind of annoying. Let's see if Butler can get it right there. And he does with the end. One, 33, 20, and 10. It's over. And with five seconds left, this game is over. 102, 129 is your final score. And the Heat are going to take game one of this first round series in a blowout fashion. Final box score for the Heat. 39 points, 10 rebounds, 21 assists, and 2 steals for Johnson. Shooting 15 of 23 from the field, 2 of 2 from downtown. Started off the game really, really rough. First quarter, 10 points, 3 of 9. Second quarter, 4 points, 1 of 2. So 4 of 11 in that first half, but I did have 14, 7, and 12. But that third quarter, I went 7 of 7. And in that fourth quarter, 4 of 5, leading to a 25-point second half. And who was behind me? Jimmy freaking Butler with the 20-point second half. He had 36 in the game. We combined for 75 points. He had 36, 5, and 13 assists on 14 of 23, one of two from downtown. Uh, Tyler Hero, he came into that fourth quarter and just started shooting it and making it. 19 points, five rebounds, three assists, six of nine from the field, five of seven from three. In that fourth quarter, he had eight of his 19 points, three in that third quarter, and in that first half. Second quarter, he had eight of his points. So Tyler Hero, really good game. Bam out of bio, disappointing, but we didn't really look for him much after that first quarter. 12 points, only three rebounds. I'm assuming he was in foul trouble because only 19 minutes. He had no fouls. He just didn't play. Bam out of bio just didn't play, apparently. Uh, Caleb Martin, 11-7, and seven, really, really good game. Our starters just balled out along with Hero. Uh, Robinson had five off the bench. Richardson had five. Thomas Bryant had two. And Love had six rebounds. Uh, for the Bucks, 37 from Drew Holiday. We all expected this. I mean... Johnson can drop 40, but he's going to give up 50. I mean, he really did nothing else besides that. Milton had 18, and I guess putting Bam on Giannis worked. He only had 7 points in this game. 8 rebounds, 4 assists, 2 steals, 2 block shot, 3 of 11, took 4 threes, and had 5 fouls. So yeah, uh, putting Bam on Giannis was definitely the move. And Bobby Portis, 1 for 3, 2 points, but Kevin Love did his job too. Anyways, I doubt it goes like this in Game 2. If it does, we're most likely going to simulate the rest of the series. But that's it for me. GG.